Okay, Mr. Rudin, I understand we have some thank yous to extend to the Human Relations Council regarding anti-violence groups. Uh, yes, Your Honor, I'd like to call Katie Crosby, uh, head of HRC, to the podium to introduce or make the, uh, the presentation. Ms. Crosby. Good morning, Mayor, Commissioners, and City Manager. I just wanted to um, acknowledge some of the individuals that have supported us or either helped to spread the anti-violence and anti-gun violence message uh, throughout the city in the past, uh, actually for a period of time. Um, as you are aware, we had a le an 11-week period of no homicides, no gun violence homicides, and so we're very excited about that. We understand that we have a lot of work to do, but we do believe that we should celebrate our, uh, our small accomplishments one step at a time. So I want to make sure that we recognize our community partners. We've been hosting the community initiative to reduce gun violence since January. We recently hired a program director to help us with the initiative and to improve community police relations, which is Mr. Sean Walton. I'd like to have him come up as well to introduce himself. But while he's coming up, I'd also like to um, have some of our partners who were able to attend this morning come up and introduce themselves because we want to make sure that the community understands that they are a part of a, a, a larger initiative to help reduce violence in the community. So if you all could come up as well, I appreciate it. <laughs> that would be you guys. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mayor job, Commission. Um, I just uh, like to, you know, uh, just uh, thank you guys for this great opportunity for doing the right thing. You know, uh, we're just uh, a group of folks who are that are committed to making a difference in our community. And as the new uh, program director, you know, it's just uh, good, and and I'm, I'm incredibly pleased as we were searching out and finding out who else was working to reduce violence in our area. We've got a host of folks, some of which are here today, and uh, that's where, you know, the real work is done. So as, as the new program director, there's no way that we could be successful in our initiative uh, without uh, this group of great folks here, and we'll give them an opportunity to introduce themselves. Mayor, Commissioner, Clerk, Manager, Jerome McCory, President of the Adam Project, responsible for the Peace in the Hood Tour. Uh, this is our fifth year being involved with the block parties and where we're pleased that we were able to partner with the city this year and clearly they make a difference. They're panning out. A lot of work to do, but we're willing to keep working to get it done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mayor and Commissioners, Bishop Richard Cox, I'm the President of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference and national board member. This is uh, something that we do nationally across the country in every chapter across the United States as well as in the South. And we're proud to be able to say that we stand with the Human Relations Council to help reduce gun violence. Great, thank Great, you. Great, thank you. Mr. Mayor, City Commissioner, City Manager Redden. Uh, my name is David K. Greer. I'm the chairman of the Northwest Priority Board. I'm also a member of the Community Police Council, and I'm also a co-chair along with uh, Bishop uh, Mark McGuire of the West Community Police Relations Group. Uh, we are committed to uh, working out in the community uh, to help in the endeavor to uh, reduce crime and violence in our community. Thank you. Thank you. Mayor and Commissioners, my name is Raymond Hood. I'm with Goodwill Easter Seals Miami Valley. I'm the coordinator of the Ex-Offender Mentoring Program. And um, about four years ago, with the Second Chance Act, Goodwill decided that they would reach out to ex-offenders uh, to assist them with overcoming whatever barriers that they may face upon their release from prison. We started out working with the men at DCI, and now we're working with the women. But uh, our, our goal is to reduce gun violence and help these, win, these men and women uh, receive jobs upon their release from prison. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Mayor, Commissioners, and City Manager. My name is Jill Parker, and I represent Public Health Dayton and Montgomery County with the SURF program. <laughs> and we okay. see you every block party. Everywhere. Yes. <laughs> I do see you everywhere. <laughs> Good morning, Mayor, City Commission members, and City Manager. I'm Sister Jeanette Bueller, a member of the Sisters of the Precious Blood. I currently coordinate the Dayton Career Homicide Vigils. We reactivated these in 2006, and we believe that the prayer and all that we do complements the work of all these other people. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
morning, Mayor, Commissioners, uh, City Manager, um, Darren Bird. I'm a street advocate for a serve community needs to reduce gun violence. Thanks, Darren. Good morning. Good morning. We come together because we serve together. Yes, Mayor, Commissioner, City Manager. I'm Kathy Emery. Uh, 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 many years working at the City of Dayton. <laughs> I'm very proud of that. And we serve as co-chairs for the services team, and we're original members of SERVE. So we've been around since day one, and we plan to stay as long as my cohort uh, stays with me. Uh, great, Joyce. Thank you. Thank you, Joyce. Like thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Shackelford, we, we got some more. Yeah. Bird represented me. Uh, all right. Bird had. Reverend Gale. He was never shy before, was he? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Pastor Sherry Gale. I'm pastor of Grace United Methodist Church, and I serve on the HRC board. I'm also a member of the Community Police Council, a member of the service team of Serve and a Serve Advocate, and a member of the Montgomery County Ex Offender Reentry Policy Board, all of which work to help reduce crime and give new chances for those who have been involved in crime. Thank you, Reverend. Thanks. Good morning, Mayor, um, Commissioners, City Manager. My name is Erica Fields, and I am a member, or I'm sorry, I am with the Human Relations Council, and I've been working over the past year with um, Sean Walton, Ms. Katie Crosby, and our community partners to help spread the word um, of anti-gun violence, and also specifically working with our young adult population to engage and um, cultivate um, you know, them and empower them to spread the word as well. So thank you for your support. Thank you. Okay. I'm Marlon Shackelford, street advocate. I feel real. <laughs> <laughs> Supervisor. He just had to do that. That was great, there. I'm glad to be. Here. He's got he got jokes. Mayor, city manager, commissioners. I thank y'all. I thank y'all for making sure that our city does not become like Chicago, Illinois, because we definitely need to pray for Chicago. And the collaboration is definitely working. So keep it up. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Thank you. There are a couple of individuals who are, are shy this morning. I wa also want to recognize Mr. Percy Vera and Jeremy, both from the Adams Project, who have uh, been a significant help in helping us coordinate the block parties. And then I would be remiss if uh, Chief Bill didn't come up, because he's also a partner along with the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office and the City of Trotwood Police Department. Well, because of the fine work of all the folks behind me and also those who are not here, uh, we're a much safer city. We've had significant reduction in violence, actually beginning in 2011. Uh, we have an 8% reduction in violent crime year to date uh, this year, which is pretty remarkable because we're nine months into the year, and to have that uh, significant decline, we certainly expect that to be sustained through the year. Uh, but again, because of the great work of the community, public safety begins or ends uh, based on what the community does. And so it's because of their work that we're successful. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. And then last but not least, Commissioner Williams has um, been our point of contact on the commission along with the city manager and um, Deputy City Manager Stanley Early. So I'd like to give Commissioner Williams an opportunity to also speak to um, the community members as well. Thank you for the opportunity, Katie. <laughs> I mean, Ms. <laughs> Ms. Crosby. <laughs> <laughs> No, seriously, um, I just want to say thank you. I mean, I, I sit here today and I think back to when we really first started this, and I think from where we started, um, I remember being in a room the first time with a number of you, and quite frankly, um, there, there was some concern about whether that everybody could work together. And, and I look now here some two, two and a half years later from those initial meetings, and I, I'm just really pleased as I see there's certainly so much camaraderie and um, certainly a much greater level of trust, and, and just the results speak for themselves. So I just want to say um, I think we have a great police department. But our police department cannot do it by themselves. So having this collaboration with all the folks we've seen here today, not to mention there's probably at least as many who couldn't make it this morning um, who, who are very helpful. So I'm just happy. You know, I look at it in terms of, um, you know, we're doing really, really three key things. We're, we're reducing gun violence, which, of course, is a, is a must. Um, we are um, improving the relationships between the police and the community because of all this in additional interaction. And then the third thing, which certainly wasn't on my mind when I first started really getting involved in, at a pretty heavy level, was 
As I talk to business people in the community, this, this is registering with them. This makes business people want to reinvest back in our city. This is an economic development tool that we may not even realize. So it's, it's the main reason is to save lives. But there is a byproduct. There's an economic development tool. And I expect to see more, more companies want to reinvest in our city as a result of safer streets. So I just want to say thank you for all you guys coming this morning, and thank you for all the hard work you've put in. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to echo uh, Commissioner Williams' comments and definitely give him a lots of kudos for his leadership on this effort. It's definite uh, that he is the lead of the commission on this effort, and you all are the leaders in the community. And when I look at you all and see all the great work that has been done in the community, from the block parties, from the prayer vigils, from the social service angles, from the police really working to talk to, to the community, I'm reminded of um, uh, I think I think like a year ago, Ben Affleck was speaking at the Oscars, and he <coughs> got he got nicked because he said is like to, to his wife, it takes a lot of work to have a good relationship. It takes a lot of work, and a lot of people said, why did he say that about his wife? But I think what he said is very true: to have a good relationship and to stay in communication and to make sure that issues don't pop up and fester, it takes a lot of work. And so we know we've made really great steps, and I know we're going to continue to, to work this problem and work this issue because we can't ever stop. So I want to thank you all for that work that you're doing. Yes, certainly. I want to like to recognize uh, Commissioner Williams for his leadership because um, it's not easy. It's not easy. So I want to thank you for being out there and, and helping to knit this coalition together thank you. and, and keeping it together. It's, it, it takes work, serious work. So uh, thank you, and thank you for all the, what I call the homegrown patriots for, <laughs> for, the, for the work that you do, because uh, <laughs> it's not easy, I'm sure, but you're out there dealing with it and know how to deal with it, and we look forward to your continued, uh, your continued presence in our community, because as, as Marlon mentioned, you know, we don't want to become as, as Chicago, even though Chicago is one of my favorite cities, but not this other stuff that's going on up there. It's, uh, it's amazing what you're doing here to keep our community safe. So thank you. Yeah, thank you all. I really appreciate your work. My colleagues have said it all. You all, you're doing amazing things out there. I just want to add, you know, I remember some of those very early meetings that Commissioner Williams talked about, and I'm proud to see you all together working together. And I'm even more proud of the fact that we have become a proactive city and less of a reactive city. Good point. So thank hey, you all. Thanks for coming this thank morning. Thank you all. Keep doing what you do. Yeah.